this is part two to your personal reading. So I was just saying that it's pretty much your destiny to meet this person, this Mr. Right, you know, and it's time for you to have faith and to realize that the universe loves symmetry, so it's gonna find you the perfect match and the person's already out there. It's just, it's all happening in divine timing. So this is your advice. We've already um, done so much advice in this reading, but this is what I'm gonna leave you with. It's bizarre, like so many cards came out and I feel like it's telling like a story. So they're saying that you know, you you need to trust your inner wisdom here. That it's time for you to take action. And I see this this woman, she's all dressed up, she's got on these beautiful little necklaces, and like look how like she's got her she's got her look going on. You know what I'm saying? She's got a look and she's doing her thing, and I feel like that's kind of what you need to do. Like you need to start really appreciating your worthiness and like feeling like that goddess who's worthy of love and this can just come from the inside. It doesn't have to be um, on the outside, but maybe it is time. I've been giving this advice so much on my channel. I think it's just, we've all worked so hard, you know, this harvest season, and now it's time to, like, celebrate and appreciate yourself and your divinity, and doing yourself up is part of that. It's a very ancient part of our, of our culture, and um, from the beginning of time, we've been doing this to celebrate ourselves and our divinity, so you're a part of that. <laughs> And they're also saying um, that you have a lot of abundance now. You've worked towards this. And because of this, like, you're a little restless. Now you're kind of like, okay, like, I'm secure in this area of my life now. But, like, what am I, like, what am I going to do now? Like, even though you truly have so much around you, you have access to, like, infinite ideas and infinite inspiration, you're really perceptive. I feel like you're a lot, very intuitive, probably kind of like me. And so you know that you've been spending so much time thinking about this and thinking about and daydreaming about manifesting this. You know that it's coming. So what you need to do now, the only thing you need to do really, the only real advice I have for you out of all of this that's coming through is to take some of your abundance and think of some ideas of how to use it to like make yourself happy like this is what you need to focus on right now because this will put you into like i don't know it'll put you kind of into this sweet spot this receptive mode to where it's going to be easier to allow this romantic relationship into your life because when you're you're blocked it's when you're putting all your energy into like your work and not really appreciating yourself and not really slowing down and not really being in the moment. Like you've got to be open to the moment in order to let this flow into your life. Stop focusing so hard and like building your future and whatnot and just get into the moment and just enjoy what's around you and start making more connections with people. I think this is how the relationship's going to come. There's a lot of messages here about you needing to get out and not isolate yourself anymore. They're saying to expect a miracle, but you need to do your work. This bear is pointing at this cave and he's like, how are you gonna meet this person if you're in this cave all the time? It's time to come out of your cave. I already named somebody else's reading that or else I would name yours time to come out of your cave. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it's time for. And all you're being asked to do is just do what makes you happy. Like, I feel like, I feel like, What's kind of unsaid here is that there's a lot of guilt and shame on you that you're kind of carrying around. I feel it. It's like you feel guilty to make yourself happy. You feel guilty to like do yourself up. You feel kind of guilty and like not, it comes from the worthiness, you know, not feeling like worthy. And when you, when you realize that you're not feeling worthy, then you just feel bad because you're like, well, I want to feel worthy. This sucks. Well, it's all about your subconscious mind. What's in your subconscious mind? What's in your programming? And it, it might just be very, very deep down. Like these are deep rooted subconscious beliefs. And it's not so much just saying like, okay, I'm gonna try to feel worthy. I feel worthier now. No, you're gonna have to work on it. And that means you need to meditate. You need to do affirmations. You need to work on your brain, rewire it. So I encourage you to do meditations for happiness, meditations for peace, meditations for stress, meditations for love, 
meditations for loneliness just like whatever you're feeling and like whatever your intuition tells you to do just like look it up on youtube find one where someone's voice doesn't sound annoying you'll find some people out there where you're like oh i hate the sound of their voice and then there's other people where you'll be like oh wow they're so relaxing hopefully i'm one of those people for you <laughs> i'm hoping to make my own meditations and affirmations on this channel soon too but um the point is working on your subconscious mind that is also really going to help so work on your inner goddess work on rewiring your subconscious mind and do what makes you happy